Hey guys and welcome back to another uh, video on this series of the Western Digital My Cloud EX2. Uh, so in this video we will make a backup test from the NASH to one USB pen which is already connected there so we don't lose time. Uh, as I said on a previous video it will take about a minute since you plug it in to uh, refresh um, to actually the device see that uh, USB drive connected. So let's go to our screen over here and make this test. Uh, so what I did was uh, on the shares, I created a, a folder named test backup, uh, which is public with all the standard um, options, didn't mess anything around. And what I did, if we go to my folder, I created a zip file with 200 megabytes uh, there. Uh, and we will be testing this. It will be the first time I will test <laughs> making the, the backup. So it will be um, sharing with you live how this uh, will work good or um, bad. So let's go to the backups and let's create a job name. So as a job name, let's say test, oops, test uh, back. And direction will be NAS to USB. Let's browse the folder that we want. We want test backup. Um, we want to put everything that it's inside the folder. We want to back it up. So let's pretend that press OK. We only have 200 megabytes in there. So uh, hopefully it will be fast. And then destination folder. Let's select um, the pen that it's inside. And we have a few folders here. Let's create a new one in this case and let's say test um, folder. Of course it's a folder but okay. So we just created a test folder and press OK. Now let's create this job. OK and it's ready. So as is, this is the first time for me, let's see what options do we have here. Edit job so we can edit the name and the source and destination okay so no um details let's see the details okay um you can delete the job and you can back up now so one thing that i will expect in the future hopefully that western digital makes this as a scheduled backup so i don't have to remind that on Sunday I will have to make uh, a backup or I will just have to press the button here. Uh, nonetheless, I've been doing this for the last uh, three, four years um, in another way, not so easy as this. But um, in this case, the advantage is I don't have uh, to leave any computer powered on. I just remove, uh, uh, shut down the computers, go to bed and leave the device make the backup so but nonetheless i would expect that uh, western digital develop just a little app so we can say every sunday at that time make a backup please from this folder to that folder and we can just rest and from time to time we have to check if the, if the, if the backups are may, being made so we don't uh, have any risk okay so let's cut off the chit chat I tend to talk a lot and sorry about that. And let's try to make a backup now. So let's press and see how this goes. Updating. And okay. 12%, 20%. Uh, let's do something here. Let's close this. Let's pretend that we shut off the computer. And if we go to our data traveler, test folder test back up still empty hopefully it will work <laughs> without the computer powered on at least that's what I expect and that's why I'm making this test here um, Just refreshing, mm. taking a bit. Let's go to oh. five in the meantime. 
every time. Let's check if let's go to the backups. It said finished. So this actually has finished the backup. So probably it takes a bit to appear. Let me just check something <laughs> to see if I yeah, we have the, the file here. And let's see if everything source folder. Okay, so test backup. Oh, and it is. Okay. So it takes a while to write. I was getting a bit um, scared over here, to be honest with you, uh, because this is actually one of the reasons that I got this uh, one of them, not all of uh, I've explained on previous videos why, but this was one of the reasons that I got this this device, because it would simplify my life uh, regarding um, backups and not having to leave the machine turned on. Nonetheless, I will make uh, further testings with bigger files and probably tonight when I go to bed uh, without having any critical data yet. Uh, I will just move my, not data, data. <laughs> I will just move my data here once I made all the tests for myself as well, and I'm sharing almost all of them with you guys, um, guys and girls, <laughs> for anyone who is watching. So it works fine. So we just have to uh, press that and then wait a while to refresh. As I said, uh, the USB is not actually recognized um, when you plug it in as you do on a computer. So. I, I guess that the same is when you write a file to there, it will take that average one minute to refresh and actually show you which file is there, which is fine for me for the use that I will be giving. All I want is that it, it will export my backup um, <clears throat> to the drive itself, which will be that one over there at the moment being, um, and that I have a fully backed, uh, backed uh, files uh, and I'm safe in case of this uh, catching fire, for example. <laughs> um, well, most probably if it catches fire, everything burns. But uh, guys, so this was the test of the backup. Uh, we just have to be a little bit patient, about one minute after the file is created. And as you saw, we just closed the interface. You can shut it out, shut down the computers. Uh, if this doesn't happen, I will place a bad message <laughs> here on the video but I wouldn't expect that uh, but as I said tonight I will test it uh, if you are watching this video without a banner here is because everything went fine this is a great uh, device and you can you can go for it if it not I will place a message here just say hey avoid this because this didn't work or that didn't work and, and so on so as backups I think I've covered it. Um, if you still have any questions, just uh, drop me a, a line, uh, place a comment there. Thumbs up if it helped. Thumbs down if you, for some reason, didn't like the video. Um, and on the next video, I will make a very short uh, conclusion and then I'll go to the uh, storage and backup solution that I use. And uh, I will share my experience over this uh, last uh, four or five years and my plans for um, for the future, long, uh, medium term and long term regarding storage is what I'm thinking at the moment um, to get the best out of uh, what's available to me. Okay guys, and that's about it. Thanks for watching. My name is Roberto George and bye bye.